Now let's take a look at some of the automated test capabilities of Docker Cloud as a CI CD platform. We'll take the repo that we created in the last demo and we'll add a test to it. Now the way it works is like this. We tell the Docker Cloud repo that we want it to run tests. Then we go to our source repo on GitHub and define the tests in a YAML file. And that's basically it. With the Docker Cloud repo configured for automated tests and the presence of the test YAML file in the GitHub source repo, we'll be ready to go. That means anytime there's a pull request submitted against a tag or a branch matching a build rule, the test's going to automatically run. So let's do it. We'll go into our repo again here. Then on the builds tab and under configure automated builds, right, see we've got three options here. Well, right now tests are off. We'll go internal pull requests here, which basically says, right, any time we get a pull request for a branch that matches a build rule, run the test first, but only do it if the PR comes in from the source repository. Okay, internal and external below is basically the same, only this will kick in even if the PR comes in from an external source repo. Well, we don't want to change anything else, so let's save that. And I think let's go over to our repo. All right, so these are the files that make up our app. Now I've just added this docker-compose.test.yaml file. And if we look at it, okay, well, I guess first up, right, so long as it's got this name, it's gonna run on any PR that matches a build rule for the repo. Also though, the service here has gotta be named SUT like this, system under test. Then, uh, okay, we've got a simple echo command here. A bit of a fake test, to be honest. But you get it, right? Define your test here. Now, obviously, you can call out to code and the likes for more comprehensive and more real-world scenarios. But yeah, a YAML file formatted like this in the root of your repo, and as long as you've told Docker Cloud to run tests on the repo, it'll run. Now, as this file's a new add to the repo, I guess it counts as a change. So I've tracked the file and made the commit here in a feature branch. So let's push it. Give it my creds. Okay, then over here in GitHub, let me jump onto the feature branch. Right, there's our new test YAML file. So I'll tell you what, let's make that into a PR. Okay. So, well, it looks like our test's kicked in and it's running. I think the detail here is going to take us back to Docker Cloud. Uh-huh. And the test's in progress. Now, it's probably going to take a minute or so, so let me pause the video. And it's done. So let's look at the logs. Okay. Right, we can see our test YAML file here and the SUT test service. And all of this here has been tested inside of a transient container, right? But if we look somewhere further down, there it is. This is the echo output we expected from the test. So the test succeeded. Now a zero return code from any test is considered a success. That should mean if we click back here to GitHub, okay, all checks have passed. So that means we're good to merge, which... Back here in Docker Cloud, if we look at the timeline, there goes the automated build. So, recapping right, we configured auto builds on the Docker Cloud repo. We went to the source repo and we made a change. We added that test YAML file that defined our test. Well, we pushed that to GitHub and created a PR. The PR matched a build rule and it kicked off the automated test. We saw the test run and pass return code of zero and all, and because it passed, the repo's automated build kicked in and we're about to get a shiny new Docker image. And that is automated tests with Docker Cloud. For more information, come and visit us at cloud.docker.com.